Uh, right then, it's not Saturday, it's Monday morning. I'm in for Christopher Vernon Kerr, that's me. Uh, he's away, he's just having one day off. He's back tomorrow with JLS, they're going to be coming in for a chat. We are streaming live, you know, uh, bbc.co.uk forward slash Radio 1. You can click on Chris, Chris's face. That's right. Or it might, is it my face or is it Chris's face? It's actually Chris's more? face today. Thought so. Uh, Chris, <laughs> click on, click on, <laughs> click on Chris's face, and uh, you'll get all the web stream. And you can send us a free message as well uh, via the. Oh, look, there it is. And when you say streaming, you mean video. That's what I mean. Yeah, you can mm. see it. Mm. So they go. Oh no! Don't do what Chris does. He starts watching himself on the screen because it'll delay. You see. So if you move your face really quickly, you wait a couple of seconds. It comes up on the screen next to us, and Chris can spend a few minutes doing that. And there he goes. I can and see. I can see. I can he's see. Gone. You know the fascination with that. It's very good. It, there's a there's a bit where it says send a message to the studio, and all you do is you click that, and then you get a message free yeah, yeah, to the charge. studio. And you can text us eight double one double nine or drop us an email verdon dot k at bbc dot co dot uk. <laughs> right. Are so, we ready for the news? Sorry. Yes. Someone's just texting. Any sport where you have to wear a jumper is not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So we're going to play Prodigy, Warriors Dance, bit of Igloo and Hartley as well. Here's Dom and Carrie with the news and sport. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio 1. There's a memorial for soldiers who've died in Britain's worst 24 hours in Afghanistan. And in sport, England's tail enders deny Australia victory. Seven minutes past seven now. Did you see the Grand Prix? No, I never. Oh, Lewis Hamilton had an absolute oh. nightmare. Where did he finish? He, last. Well, he was oh, last. He, oh, last. Yeah, he, he had a flying start because mm. the key to that track, the Nürburgring mm. in Germany, is to get into the first corner first. Yeah. Mm. Right, because that's the, 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 the key moment. That's They said that's when, if you get the lead there, you've got the lead for the rest of the race. Mm. So he had a flyer. He was gone. Absolute gone. Frith off the grid. Went piling down the straight. Touched. Who was it he touched? Touched Mark Webber. Touched Mark Webber. Flat puncher. puncher. Well, that was it. Game on the over. first corner. Yeah, done. Mm. He had gearbox problems at the end as well. Uh, and I saw him talking to, to Jake, and he was really giddy before the race, saying, "You know, we've got a chance of a podium here. Everyone's mm. been calling our car. We know our car's mm. pretty." Mm. But he said, "We've got a chance here of a podium." And then mm. he went flying out the blocks, touched Mark Webber, puncher. Got it. The thing is, he's had to give up on this season, though, hasn't he? Really. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. he's going to try his best, but yeah. he knows that the car's pony, and it's not going to. But it's getting better because he's it? had loads of upgrades. They literally flew in some upgrades for him that morning and put them on the car. See, that's another thing that I don't understand. The, the upgrades thing. Why didn't mm. they put them on before? Mm. <laughs> because they're, they are literally working all the time. It's all about fractions of a second. If they can just change something that will give them, like, a hundredth of a second, yeah. they'll do it and they'll sell <laughs> that piece out. <laughs> Go play it all. Go on, play it all. He's just now, crying at the end. That's a shame he does that at the end because it's, it's just a noise at the end. It's lovely. <laughs> You know, there's always talk about uh, Formula One being a little bit boring and this, mm. that, and the other. You know, mm. it's, it's, it, you know, it, it splits opinion. Mm. It really yeah. does. Well, this upgrades thing. What they should do is they should turn Formula One into like a real life Mario Kart. <laughs> you know, the more things you collect going along the track, right. the, the better upgrades yes. you get. Yeah, great idea. I could just imagine 180 miles per hour, <laughs> just grabbing a strawberry or something. Yeah, a gold coin. Yeah, or pull over <laughs> with a shopping basket. You've got to get all the yellow fruit yeah. in your basket, and if you do that, get back in. Take it to the pits. They'll put on a little bit of extra stuff on the car to make it go faster. Stick an aerofoil on the <laughs> exactly. back or something. That's a great idea. Yeah. Basically, you start yeah. off with just the corn, mm. the shell, and then the more <laughs> upgrades you pick up, you get, like, the front wing, you get yeah. the back wing. If it's raining, they might give you some slicks. Give them upgrades like that. More make them deserve them. Yeah. Yeah. Vernon Kay, you are onto something. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. there's a, there's like there's a, there's a, they're all talking at the moment, aren't they, about uh, cutting budgets yeah. for Formula 1 and having a team mm. cap, mm. capping yeah. of the team, so mm. they only all spend the same amount of money well there you go start off on an even plane and they earn it as they, they go around and they earn it yeah have Upgrades. a word with Bernie. You know do you, what I mean? Do you yeah. know Bernie? Well, you know. We, 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 <laughs> I'm talking seen... Eccleston, not Matthews, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Seen him in the village at the yeah. kebab van a couple yeah. of times, so, you know, next time we're out, we'll have a word with him. <laughs> Can't see Luca de Montezemolo, Ferrari's boss, going, yeah, that's great, we'll just do that. Yeah. 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 Luca said who? Luca de Montezemolo. <laughs> this is sport and development. Isn't that something you drink after a meal? Probably. Yeah.
Time to pretend MGMT on BBC Radio 1. I am standing in for Christopher Miles. He's aware, but he's only aware for today. Says, morning everybody. What a nice way to start my week off seeing Vernon in the studio. Do you know, I don't know of any time that Chris has taken a long weekend. In six years we've done... I've, I've never known show. it either. This is a, this is a he first. must have had an excessive amount of air miles and just thought, you know what? Do you know what? That's the, not the, far the, from the truth, I don't Yeah, know. or leave that needed using up. Yeah. Yeah, something mm. like that. But hey, oh, fair play. He took a Monday off? Well, well see, Carrie took last Monday off, and he was like, oh, is this what we can do now? Shall I take a day mm. off? <laughs> I had Friday off, so I'm sure Chris went, right, I'm having Monday then. So there you go. <laughs> Good I'm, lad. I'm still here. Just been flicking through the papers, this morning's papers. He's here, Dave. Who's here? He's arrived. Oh, not the Tiger Man. The Tiger Man is on the British Isles. Oh. Now, uh, would you... Would We're you... really going from cricket to Formula One to golf. Shut up. What show is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is probably your biggest sporting idol, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, after Ivan Campo. And Super John McGinley. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Super John McGinley, <laughs> blimey. There's a blast from the past. Tiger Woods is on the British Isles because the Open is this weekend. Yep. Yeah. So enough sport chat. Is that all right, Alid? Do you want yeah. me to move on? Yeah. Cool. Have you met him then, Ty? You and I are different on so many levels. I've learned a lot today, but there's only so much lessons I can have in one hour. <laughs> hey, Alid, I'll let you into a secret. Even I didn't fully understand all the Ash okay, stuff that fine. Carrie's going on about. Okay, I, you know, no, I, I, still I, was, don't I was nodding away and How stuff like that. How can it be a draw? I don't know. We got absolutely tonked. I know. I think they need to sit down and discuss the rules of cricket. I think they need to change the rules. It's too complicated, isn't it? That's why 2020, I, I understand. Yeah. 20 overs, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hang on, you can't say 2020, I understand. Is it 20 overs? <laughs> Clearly displaying that you don't fully understand it. Yeah, but that's what... I, uh, yeah, anyway. But, see, an over is seven... Is it seven? Balls. Seven of them. It, yeah, seven of them over um, thing. I just remember playing cricket at school. Danny and Leeds just... has texted in saying, uh, Tiger is a legend, but Alad can't name three golfers. No. I can live with that. That's fine. <laughs> it's not like you're going to need to use three golfers for the rest of your life, Alan. I think just knowing Tiger Woods is enough for me. Hmm. Tiger Woods is the man. Met Tiger Woods. Oh, he's awesome. Is he? Absolutely awesome. Is he a nice man? Yeah, very, very nice gentleman. He has an aura. Does he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, he glows. Aww. I'd imagine he doesn't... In real life, though, he's just completely committed to his sport, though, isn't he? I would yeah. imagine he's a sort of bloke you go for a pint. No, he's an he's adrenaline junkie as well. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, apparently likes uh, deep sea fishing, mm. bungee jumping, all that kind of stuff. Not at the same time? Not at the same time. Hey, there's a sport. Deep sea bungee fishing. Maybe that be, could be one of the challenges that you've got to do in Formula One to earn an upgrade. Deep sea bungee fishing. And then, yeah. you, then you'd actually get the aerofoil for your car that would yeah. make you go faster and so then you lose jump into the sea, you go down deep, yeah. and then you grab a fish on the way back up. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's work in progress, Alan. We haven't fully thought this through, much <laughs> yeah. like the rest of the link. Exactly. Hey, I promised you this tune. Loads of people have been texted in and saying, hey, where's, uh, where's the prodigy? The prodigy's coming up. We're going to mm. play Warriors Dance. I'm going to play this, and then we'll talk about uh, Scott Mills because he's got the musical coming up and they're looking for someone to play Scott Mills. It's coming to a massive cu climax, isn't it? it uh, allegedly. Mean, yeah. <laughs> it's my weekend anthem. It shows this this weekend. Dizzy Rascal Holiday. Get you in that summer vibe. Abita's around the corner. Come on. Get your passport and your bikini. You need a holiday. Come see me. I know you're tired of the same old...